welcome to a how-to video for SAP Business One for how to generate and complete a pick on the picking process from a sales order and the sales order process. So first thing we need here is an open sales order and some items to pick. So I've already created a sales order in the system here and I put in our customer, I put in our quantities, um, I put in our delivery date, and I'm going to add this to the system here. Now that we have a sales order added to the system, I'm going to come up into the header area here and I'm going to do a right click and generate pick list. Now it's going to open up the pick pack and production manager here and I'm going to select my items there and I'm going to say what do I want to release. So let's say I want to release all of them to the pick list. That's all there and then I'm going to release and it's going to launch a pick list generation wizard. So in here, it's just basically looking for some parameters. Um, if if there's you know different bin locations and things like that set up, it'll walk through that as well as if you want to split the pick list. Let's not do that. We'll just uh, uh, put everything on one, and we're going to generate this pick list. And now the pick list has been generated. Now the next step is to find that pick list. Now um, we're going to walk through a couple different ways to find that. So first way is in the sales order itself you can go back to the original sales order and you can view the pick lists and it's going to show you what's available here um, so we have um, uh, these two items here here's my pick list this is where um, if I was picking I'd interact with this and do the um, do the picking you can also launch pick list which is in the menu here under inventory pick and pack and pick list and you can come in here and you could cycle through all the open pick lists here and do it that way or you could even go through pick pack and production manager and you could do a search and you can open up um, a list of um, of open pick lists but we do have our pick list up. So let's say I'm the person that generated this pick list and I want to print it out. Um, what you would do is you would open up the pick list here. You would go to File and you could select Print. Now what that's going to do is it's going to print the default layout that we have on File. Um, uh, for this scenario here, I'm just going to do a preview to show what that's going to look like. So I've launched that there, and this is what it would look like if I printed this, and this is the out-of-the-box layout. Now this may be customized to your company, um, but um, at the base, here's what the pick list would look like. Now that goes to the picker. Now once the picker is all um, done with that, they'll have this pick list here, and to complete it, they're going to say, I picked 10 and 20. I picked the full quantities there. You can do that where you can go in one by one and type in that or as an option you could click pick all and it will um, assign the same quantities and pick everything all at once if you wanted to. But when I'm ready I'm gonna hit update. That pick list has been done. Um, there's some options here from the pick list uh, if, if you choose to go this route from the pick list when they're picked you could create a delivery. So you could take the sales order from here already and you could create a, uh, um, a delivery document. And then you could complete the delivery process from here if you would like. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at Support One with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.